all right so this is a follow-up video on the video i recorded previously on the big get coffee trading i told you i'll be updating you from time to time on the result i'm going to get remember we copied four traders in that video so in this video tutorial i'm going to share the result i've gotten so far copying those traders with the amount of usdt we started that with okay i think we started with about 556 or thereabout usdt so in this video tutorial we're going to review the result and i'll tell you what i did and how you can actually apply this as well okay all right so as you can see here this is the result we've made so far okay so this is how much that has been traded from our account and this is the result we have made so far okay so the next thing we need to do is to look at the traders who are doing this because i actually unfollowed one of those traders during the week okay so i'll follow one of those traders let us look at the remaining three traders and the result i've gotten from there so far so here you can see these are the three traders that i'm currently copying okay i'm copying this trader and this trader has made me the most profit okay and then i'm copying this trader i actually got a lot of you know <laughs> losing trade from this trader this trader made a lot of losses um, during his trade so i'm going to tweak the settings for this particular trader alone and then i got some you know profit from this trader as well all right so the other trader um actually that i followed i didn't get any trade from the trader so i had to unfollow the person all right so if we come to the history of this trade let me go ahead and click on the history so here on the history you see that this is actually a losing trade and if i click on more you see that this losing trade is from this particular trader okay this is the trader that has made me some of these losses that you're looking at all right and i got some profit from other traders so i'm go actually going to adjust though the trader made some losses and equally made some profit so i'm actually going to it means that the result i got would have been more than what you are looking at currently okay it would have been more than this but i'm going to adjust the settings for this particular trader all right and then see what we are going to get going forward from here so what i can do right now is here on the trader page so let me go ahead and open this on a new tab by just clicking on where it says edit click on it and open this in a new tab so if i come to the new tab let it open up now when i come in here to the new tab remember that for this trader we want to copy only his btc and his eth um trade okay those are the only trades we want to copy and if i scroll down here for the leverage i said customize because i'm using my own customized method by putting in 10x leverage here so i'm using 10x leverage for each of the trade that this trader opens okay so i see that um, the trader is not doing very well um before i know it the trade is already already closed and the rest so all i can do right now is either i follow this trader or i can just go ahead and adjust the leverage okay so i want to reduce this leverage to 5x leverage so that we will not be hitting liquidation so far because those losses you see they are actually liquidation i got liquidated for that trade okay so and then i I'll come down here for the ethereum i will do the same thing by removing 10x leverage and putting 5x for this trader okay i'm actually adjusting this for the fact that i still got you know some profit from the trader so i'll, I'll go ahead and adjust that and um what i notice is that for other traders you see them opening multiple trade let's say um, a trader entered the a trade when btc was seventeen thousand. okay when btc reduces to sixteen thousand, you will see another open trade open it up from that same trader when it gets to let's say um you know fifteen thousand again they open another trade and because of that instead of your entry price being at that 17 which was the initial when the average is now calculated you see that your entry price will now be between either 15 and 16 okay it will not be between 50 as 15 and 16 so that when there is a major pullback going in your favor you don't need to stay in the market for long you just make profit those are what i noticed from other traders but this trader just opened a position let it you know run for a while until it got liquidated all right so i only noticed that when i got the email notification for an account being liquidated and the rest that was when i knew 
that I'm actually losing a trade from this particular trader. Though from the start, the trader was actually making profit, but at the end, because of what is happening in the market right now, we got liquidated. Okay, so once you finish adjusting that, just go ahead and click on next. Okay, and then go ahead and click on confirm. It means that going forward, whenever this trader takes a trade, it's going to cost, um, it's going to be based on the 5x leverage. Even if the trader is going to use 50x leverage, from our own end, it will be copying with the 5x leverage. Okay, all right, so that is basically it. All I need to share with you in this video. Once again, if you want to copy traders on the BitGuard exchange, um you will need to if you are you know copying traders with little capital you need to actually monitor your account because what i've noticed is that at times you get liquidated from your end okay you get liquidated from your end while the trade is still ongoing from that trader's end okay whenever you get liquidated the trade is still ongoing from that trader's end just like i experienced with this trader okay i got liquidated but the trade that liquidated me from my own end was still running from this trader's end that is because i i i i, I did not you know have enough margin to cover up all right for that particular trade but the trader is trading with cross margin all right with even 50x leverage that is you know the most funniest aspect of it with even 50x leverage and yet i still got liquidated so if you have money okay if you have money uh, what i can advise is that if you have like 10k and above in your account you can actually follow the traders um you know um, strategy just follow everything that the trader is doing so what you just need to do is on the margin okay follow traders on and then on the leverage equally follows the traders on that is all you can do that is all i can advise you to if you have enough capital in your account but if you're having you know less than a thousand or thereabout then all you need to do is to customize the settings okay you can use 3s leverage you can use 5s leverage all right and then customize the setting the way you want and that way you'll be able to follow that trader without losing or closing out of the market early before the trader even closes the trade because when you get liquidated the trader will end up closing that same trade in profit okay and when you put your stop loss at 10 percent 20 percent with all of this move in the market you end up you know <laughs> getting cut off the market even when the trader is still um having those same trade open in the, in his own end okay so you get you know um, kick out of the market and that will make you lose a lot of money so when you have enough money you can follow the trader setting and you'll be good to go okay i hope this video was helpful if you like the video give it a thumbs up and if you are new to the channel consider subscribing if you want to sign off an account with bitguide links to sign up will be in the video description you can equally join us on the telegram group to learn more on uh, bitguide copy trading and other trading aspect we share in the telegram okay that is it for this video and i'll see you in the next video